everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing an order from Class N Orchids in the Netherlands and I will link you below to their website. I've ordered from them, this is going to be the third time that I've ordered from them and the first time that I ordered from them I had a really great experience. I got some really healthy beautiful vanders, some really nice Cattleyas and my Rick and Rita's Bangkok Sunset was from them originally and it came as a really good sized plant with a great root system. So I've placed orders since from them and everything is, has been really great. The reason that I keep going back to them is because they have a really great selection of plants, really reasonably priced, some fantastic vanders at the moment, really interesting species and hybrids. And they have really great customer services. Now, whenever we're ordering live plants from a nursery, there's always the chance that there could be an issue, either in transport or something could go wrong with the, the plant either before it's sent or while it's in transport, how it's cared for after it's arrived with us because they've gone through quite a lot of stress. And if there was anything wrong with the plant, that's going to come out in shipping. I think it's really important to note the customer service that you get afterwards if there is a problem. I think that tells you a lot about the seller. I have had one issue with Classen, and one compared to the amount of plants I bought from them is really percentage wise, they're doing pretty well. The, the issue I had was I bought a Recaro Francis Fox from them and it was advertised as adolescent. So I took that to be sort of one to two years from flowering size. And I got the plant. It was a lot smaller than I was expecting. The leaves were yellowing and they looked like they were going to fall. And that got progressively worse over a couple of weeks. And it was a really small plant. It actually fell out of the pot when I unpacked it. It had no roots. And it turned out that it was two plants in the same pot. And one was just dead. And the other one I thought might be salvageable. I left it for a couple of weeks before contacting them. And I kind of thought because I'd left it, they wouldn't really be able to do anything because they do say on the website to contact them immediately with any problems. And I'd kind of tried to give it a bit of a chance to recover and it wasn't. So I sent them some pictures over the kind of documenting its journey. And I had taken some pictures when I unboxed, but I was kind of more preoccupied with the fact that it had fallen out of the pot. So I sent them all that and they were incredibly helpful. They offered to replace the plant immediately, free of charge, refund it. And they also gave me a 20% discount code off the next order, which, you know, just to encourage me to go back, which I clearly have. <laughs> we can see the size of the box in front of me. And yeah, so I was really happy with the outcome and the way that they dealt with it. They didn't actually have the plant in stock when I placed this order because they were going to replace the Ricara Francis Fox with the next order. But I'd actually already replaced it. I'd bought one from a UK seller one of my favourite eBay sellers in the UK actually. Um, I did the seller review of them before and I got a really massive plant so I was I didn't really want another one from Classen. So they asked me if I wanted to pick out another plant so I picked out a nice little Vanda which hopefully is going to be in here today. So I guess the only thing to do now is to get to unboxing this order. I believe they shipped it Monday and it's Friday now. I've received it within a week from when they posted it, which is pretty good to the UK. I think that's about average from Europe at the moment. And they are actually saying that there are some delays with some orders at the moment because they're in the middle of relocating their premises to a larger, better facility. So I think when you place an order, you do get an email out saying, to bear with them there are a few delays but I didn't really receive a delay on this order okay so hopefully you can kind of see how it's packaged in there <laughs> lots of bubble wrap so when I picked this up this went to my mum's address because I work during the day um and my mum works shifts so she tends to get a lot of my post actually she messaged me today at work just a bit like um how many orchids did you order <laughs> because yeah the box was like absolutely massive and she was kind of shocked and we had fun trying to get it in my car I'll put a picture up on screen it kind of became my second passenger oh I can see a vanda already I'm really really excited for this order so I haven't actually said what I've ordered mostly vandas because they have an amazing selection um, a cat layer or two 
and Phalaenopsis gigantea. Uh, but yeah, you'll see as I unpack. And I, what I will do is I'm not extremely good in the nomenclature because things change quite a lot. And I do find that quite confusing as a home grower. So I tend to kind of just stick with what the nursery has told me. And I usually look that up and I can often find that on orchid roots, it's change. It's really important to have kind of an up-to-date name in your mind so that when you're looking up the parentage or the care requirements, you can kind of look into what's gone into it. So... This is my first one, which is a Vanda. You can see how well they've packaged this. So this is a Vanda hybrid. So it's Vanda Mimi Palmer crossed with Vanda Pine River. And I think this is the Pine River Pink. And I really wanted a Mimi Palmer hybrid because I've heard the fragrance is just one of the best band of fragrances you can get. I think it's an awarded uh, variety for its fragrance. And you can see how super healthy that looks. Super green. It's pretty unblemished. Great root system. So that's really great. I was expecting a much smaller plant, I'll be honest, because I bought a band of Mimi Palmer across with Tessellata before from another nursery. And it's like a seedling. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait a few years before that one flowers, that's for sure. So I'm really getting into Vandas at the moment. You might have noticed from my uh, recent update video on changing the Vanda setup. So I'm actually trialing a few outside as well over summer and they've just taken off. They absolutely love my new little outdoor space for them. When the outdoor space is fully up together and filled and set up properly I will do a video on it because I'm super happy with it so uh, it was a early birthday present from my mum and my boyfriend put it all together for me they have gone to town on the packaging okay so this one oh is there Renanthera storiae crossed with Vanda Denisoniana so you can see they've got tags that says Vanda Hybrids on. And I think this is because they've got so many Vanda Hybrids at the moment. Really interesting varieties. I'm super excited to see what this one looks like. Because it looks very similar to the Renanthera. But if it's crossed with the Denisoniana, it might well be fragrant. Which is super exciting. It's quite a young... I wouldn't say a young plant. It's quite a small plant. But I've never had a Renanthera before. So I don't know how young they can flower. I feel like it's Christmas. Okay guys, so I ordered a lot of orchids. This is going to be the last one for a while. I ordered a lot because I had a discount code from them from my last order where I had the issue. Uh, but really just use that as an excuse to buy more orchids. Okay. So, Vanda Hybrid number six. Apparently. So this is the Rinko Centrum Lilac Blossom from what I can see which is a cross between Rinca stylus gigantea and an Ascocentrum, I think. Oh, we've got a nice new growing root tip there. That's always a good thing to see in a new orchid. When they're actively growing, they're so much easier to adjust. These guys will get my usual uh, insect killer treatment. Okay. How many orchids did I order? I don't know, I did order quite a lot of orchids. We'll have to count them up at the end and see if there's an invoice in here. We've got the um, complimentary orchid as well from the replacement of the Ricara Francis Fox from the last order. Oh, I mean the spikes, some of the flowers have blasted, but this looks like an Aerides. Oh, this is my Hallucciana. This was not a flowering sized orchid. Oh my goodness, I ordered this, like, the smallest one. They were out of stock of their flowering size ones. We've got a new root as well. <sighs> Guys, we might have we might have some Hallucciana flowers soon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I, I never know with these. Oh my goodness, it's packed. Oh, it's, it's already potted in sphagnum. That's fantastic because I love, I love it when they're already adjusted to a potting media. It makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> I, I tend to either pot them or put them in baskets with bark. So I have noticed with Aerides or Aridas, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, it means child of the air. So I'm going to go with Aerides because 
So this one's gonna blast. That one's blasted. But I'm not like I literally don't care about that at all because this was I was not expecting this to be flowering size even. Oh, it's got a cakey as well. I'm gonna have to unpack this later. I don't want to spend too long. I'm really bad at unpacking things, so I do it very slowly uh, so I don't damage the plant. But it looks like it's potted in a sphagnum bark mix. And it's funny because my Aerodes odorata does incredibly potted in a sphagnum bark mix. The roots have just absolutely taken off. It's amazing. So I think maybe Aerodes like a little bit more moisture. Oh, my boyfriend is gonna kill me. <laughs> No, he's not, because he's not going to know. So yeah, there's another another side to this order, another part of this story. And part of that is I wanted to get more into Vandas. And I really wanted more Vanda, like really interesting hybrids. I particularly, oh, new root tip. Particularly I wanted to try fragrant hybrids. And... I've got any Vanda space, so I did some research and I found this in eBay seller who was in Thailand. And I thought, well, that's not a no go because this is in Thailand and I can't do all the import and export certificates and stuff and the CITES. So I kind of, I, I didn't go any further with that. And then I kept looking at his orchids and his reviews from people in the UK and people in Europe. I kind of thought, well, he's obviously shipping quite a lot to the UK and Europe. Maybe I'll just have a chat with him and see what the options are. And he was super nice. Like, he was the nicest seller. It kind of convinced me to maybe place an order with him. I, I know, you're thinking, why did you do that? I I thought I'd sorted everything. I paid for the CITES certificates, and they were actually all in order. And I paid for the phytosanitary and the shipping. What I didn't factor in was the fact that I needed an import certificate to be able to import orchids to the UK, not just the CITES and phytosanitary. So they are currently sitting in customs and they have been for the past three weeks. So those ones are gone. They are in an orchid graveyard somewhere. I've appealed it, but obviously the orchids are probably dead. So there's probably nothing to appeal. I learnt my lesson and I ordered from Classen instead and I can actually have my vendors. And I just want to point out there is a beautiful growing root tip there that makes me very happy. I like growing root tips. Oh, and we've got another one just to, sorry, bash the camera. Can you see? It's beautiful. It's got really nice, like, light root tips. Sorry, I haven't actually said what this is. So this is um, Vander Tubtim Velvet Cross with Willas Big. And it certainly is big, so we've got some nice spiders in there as well. So he is going to get hosed down. We've got a cakey at the front as well. Going to hang this one off the side of the box for now. So I ordered two Phalaenopsis. One is the Phalaenopsis Gigantia. And one was a Phalaenopsis cross with Gigantia. It was like a hybrid of really spotted, beautiful flowers. So this is the Gigantia that I ordered. Looks like it's just coming up to flowering size, actually. So probably expect a flowering spike from that soon. I will need to do a rather large amount of sorting out. So. <laughs> I might be quite busy this weekend. Oh, this is the Cattleya I ordered. I think it was like a pink spotted variety. So they've packaged this amazingly. Whether I drop them all, another matter. So this is Cattleya Intermedia. Var Orlata Rio. And I'll put a picture up on screen. I've got a new growth there that is literally just about to mature. So with a lot of the Cattleya species or ones that are a bit close to the species, the roots don't start until the growth is nearly mature. So 
I mean, with the the hybrids that are really vigorous that you get in garden centres, the roots will just grow whenever. But it looks like this one is just about the right size to start putting out new roots, which is really great because sometimes, I mean, actually this cattleya looks like it's got a lot of growing root tips there. So I'm not too worried about that, actually. Often you get a cattleya and it's got no roots and you're like, oh no, now I'm going to need to wait for new growth to like nearly mature before it's going to recover. But this one looks like going to do absolutely fine they've been packaged really well as well like and then the bark's falling out the top the last time i ordered from them it was still really freezing cold so they were also like padding them with kind of insulation foam wow so they have some incredible vandas at the moment these are amazing so this is a Vandaco stylus, and again, nice growing root tip. I'm guessing, I mean, the UK has just got very hot in the last week, but I hear that Europe is having a heat wave. So, I mean, certainly my Vandas have just gone into, like, overdrive. They are super happy at the moment. So anywhere in Europe, I'm guessing, is actually probably even hotter from what I'm hearing. So that's probably why we've got so much amazing growth on Vandas. What is this? <laughs> this is the, the one I was telling you about, the XRA Little Fragrance that I just added on to replace... I mean, it says XRA, but I think they've they've crossed that out because it's now that R-M-A something. I'll put it on screen. So this is the one that I ordered to replace that... Um, little cat layer that I got that they've given me as a kind of complimentary replacement. Wow, that's huge. I was not expecting that. It was like 19 euros for that. <laughs> I'm not sure how. So this one's really exciting and it's actually got some happy sap as well. So it's obviously hydrated. But yeah, this one's super exciting because it's a hybrid between, I think, Rinka Stylus, Gigantia, Arachnis hookeriana, I believe. So both of those ones are fragrant. And Ascocentrum minetum, or A Ascocentrum, I think it's minetum. So it's got like the orange yellow flowers that come from the Ascocentrum side, but it's got the kind of shape of the Arachnis, and I'm hoping it's going to be fragrant because the name implies that it's going to be fragrant. You don't have any flower spikes though, like ever in its past. I wonder what it needs. More light? I don't know. Rinka Stylus Gigantia doesn't like a lot of light. I'm gonna have to look into the Arachnis side of this. The Ascocentrum I think is a kind of medium light Vanda. We will see. Maybe this one can go outside in the summer. And again that's potted so that makes my life easier because it's already potted. I don't know where it's gonna live though. It's kind of an awkward um, size. So that was my free gift orchid. So this is my Phalaenopsis. And I'm really sorry if I'm rustling while I'm talking. I hope it's not too difficult to understand me. Yeah, so I think I'm able to offer you quite a balanced perspective of Class M because I've ordered them and I've had good experiences, but I've also had an experience where there was an issue and they resolved that really well. And I think, again, that that's what shows a good nursery and that's what makes me go back to nurseries is if there are issues how they've dealt with it. Oh flower spike! Some bark seems to have managed to escape in transport so that's why I was doing it over there. So this is the Phalaenopsis, it's quite faint but I know what it is, it's a super stupid Carmella cross Gigantia Big Boy. Sounds a bit ominous doesn't it? This one's a little bit damp but it's not been in transport that long so I think it should be okay. It's probably just for slight dampness in the potting media. And then it's been in this plastic to protect it, but I think because it's not been in transport too long and it's not actually been cold, this should still be alright. Look at those leaves, they're gorgeous. 
and a flower spike too. I'm probably going to take that stake out. That was probably to protect it in transport, but I prefer more species type fowls. Look at those leaves. Yeah, I think species type fowls look better with loose flower spikes kind of like over the top. Right, now we have one more orchid. Sorry guys, so I realized that this cut off because I've been filming for too long. So I'm halfway through unpacking this monster. I'm still not sure what it is. And I was just kind of wondering what I'm gonna do with it actually, because it's huge. Do you, what do you think guys? Before we get to the tag, any guesses? It's um, bigger than me. It's like absolutely huge. And it says that it's this, Vanda Pimze crossed with Vanda Cerulea Pink. Hmm. Uh, it's, I mean, it looks amazing, but I'm not sure if it's that. I'm gonna have to look into the parentage a bit. It could well be that. But that, that was advertised as a much smaller plant, if it is that. I think that's everything. So it's the day after my unboxing video, and I just wanted to show you guys uh, the, the orchids now that they're a little bit more unpacked and I've ha had a chance to have a better look at them. So obviously when I filmed yesterday I still had some of the packaging on some of the Phalaenopsis and the potted vandas. So I just wanted to show you what I found when I took that off. So this is the Phalaenopsis Super Stupid Carmella crossed with Phalaenopsis Gigantia Big Boy. And we had a flower spike. And I actually found when I was unpotting, what well, I've taken the packaging off, that there's another flower spike just starting. I also had another look at the pet layer, Intermedia, Lata, Variety, Rio, and all the roots have gone very green. So these are all just soaking in nutrient solution at the moment. So this isn't their final kind of resting place. This is their room I'm going to quarantine them in. And I didn't explain that yesterday. I was filming in the other spare bedroom where my Rinka stylists live because I don't have room to quarantine them properly in my orchid room. So they've come in here. They've got a hanger. They're all looking really good. They've all, the roots have all greened up nicely after soaking them. It's a very hot day today. We're above 30 degrees outside. In the thermometer in my a little orchid greenhouse is reading 38 degrees Celsius. So I'm actually, what I did this morning was I did lots of insect treatments on all of these ones, just to, it's a preventative measure. I didn't find any signs, but I just do, especially with vandas, because they're really prone to spider mites. So I washed them all off in the shower and I hung them outside and did the insect treatments and they were dry so quickly because it's such a nice breeze and it's so warm. So I'm actually gonna put a couple of these outside, I think just, I mean, at least for today and during the days, but I might even put them outside um, once they've gone through quarantine, like in my greenhouse or... I said yesterday I wasn't totally sure about the ID for this one. So this is the Vanda Pimze crossed with Vanda Cerulea Pink. Now, that's what it said on the website, and it had a picture of what almost looked like Rinka Stylus Celestis pink flowers. So I thought maybe that it was a hybrid with that. And the leaves looked much more kind of strap leaf on the website. And I've received it. And obviously you can see that it's more like pencil like leaves. So these are like a semi terrate leaf. They're not like a full Tourette leafed vanda. Sorry, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that. Tourette or Tourette. I'm sorry about the lighting. Obviously where it's so bright outside, it's not filming very well. What I'll do is I will show you this guy outside where I'm going to put them to dry off and just enjoy the sunshine a bit. So yeah, as you can see, they are much more kind of thin pencil-like leaves. So I'm not entirely sure what the parentage of this is. I'm super happy. It's like a specimen size walk in. It's really healthy. It's got a great root system. I've wanted a vanda like that for quite a while and we'll see what the flowers look like when there are any... So I've read about these orchids that they like a little bit more sunlight than the kind of strapulated fanders. 
So I'll kind of look into that more and see how we go with that. So I hope that this unboxing video has been, if not informative, then fun for you guys because it's been super fun for me and I'm really happy with all the orchids. I will just drop class on an email about the Vanda Pimze crossed with Vanda Cerelia and see what the situation with that is. But we will see when it flowers anyway. I hope you guys have an amazing time and enjoy the sunshine if you're in Europe because we are having a heat wave. See you guys later. Bye.